Yeah.
Good evening. Good evening. I will tell you that we traveled many hours today to be here. Many, many, many hours in the car. It was a little bit squashed, but eventually we are here to sing for you the songs, the music. I come from Jerusalem. And uh, these songs are songs about love and sadness and joy and life. And the next song was written for my great-grandmother. She was called Esther. She came to Israel when she was a young woman from Morocco to Nazareth, actually. That's where my grandparents are from. And I only knew her when she was a very old woman, but they always said about her that she was the most beautiful woman in Marrakesh, in her hometown. And as a girl, as a, as a the child I was, I could never see that because I only knew her as a very, very wrinkly old lady. I could not see that until one time when she wasn't looking, I saw her take her headscarf. You know, Jewish women, they keep their, the religious Jewish women keep it inside a scarf. Once I saw her take it off and I remember this white flow all the way to the floor, just white long hair that she kept all the years as a memory for the beauty that she was. For that moment, I could see that. So, my love is still, with her sunny smile, could make even the bees believe that the flowers printed on her dress are real.
This song is a song about a bride. It's an original song. And it says, the white dove left the nest. When she left, many sad doves were left behind. Your eyes are on a bride. Your hands are a bride. Your walk of a bride. May you bless us so that we have also the fortune of a bride. La Blanca Paloma, Ojos de Novia.
Is for sick eyes, 
that was a song that talks about loving singing. So it's very old, it's Berber from the Atlas Mountains, and I found that the lyrics say, I found the singing and I took it. I found the singing and I took it. The woman who sings is never home. She is always out looking for melodies and songs. This was a song for the love of singing. And this was Avri Borohol on bass.
The next song was arranged by Moshe Makia on the piano. And it's a traditional song from the Moroccan liturgic songs, the religious Jewish songs. And it talks about that King David that I think all the three major religions share. The love and admiration for King David. I never knew why he was so admired, because after all, the biblical story presents him as so human. He did many mistakes. But in the end, when I had my son born, about a year ago, I decided I have to fix that feeling. Because after all, he's the king. After all, there must be a reason why everyone admires him so much. And I called my little son, David. This song is called Yad Chatan Cheni. Your hand shall guide me. Please give us a part and a share in David, the son of Jesse.
and next to the well, she finds a handsome young man who wants to make fun of her, and she doesn't like it. So she takes him by the throat and throws him to the water to drown. Annie, drowning, Annie, drowning. After watching him drown so long, something moves a little bit inside. She feels sad for him. So she throws her hair into the water. Thank you. 
la muerte habitó la hermosa hembra aquí en calle de la muerte
This is going to be our last song for this evening. And it was sung in my mother's kitchen one morning by a Moroccan man, an Israeli Moroccan man. He told me that his mother was singing this song to him since he is very little. And when he opened his mouth to sing this melody, I saw the African sun shining in the kitchen. Bismillah.
Candelas de sabata, señor y madre, el flamar mis ojos. Cantes de fiesta, canto mi padre, ascendieron mi corazón. Silence.